This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoDaddy. What's up everyone, John Renge from Techno Buffalo here and welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where I take all the freaking tech rumors from the week and there were a ton and I smash them and bash them and serve up one teeny tiny dish of tech rumor awesomeness. Up this week, the Motorola X Plus One. The next note is going to have ridiculous specs and more Android Wear watches are coming. This is Rumor Roundup, let's start just rounding them up. So Motorola recently announced it's going to hold a press conference on my birthday, September 4th in Chicago, where we expect the company to unveil the Moto X Plus One. It seems like doing Plus One is the new thing. Plenty of earlier leaks already set the expectations for what we can expect on the hardware side of things, and a new Geekbench benchmark chart seems to totally solidify that information. So spotted by our friends at Phone Arena, the benchmark points to a pretty awesome spec actually. 5.2 inch, 1920 by 1080 screen, two gigabytes of RAM, 10 gigs of usable storage, although that could obviously vary, a 12 megapixel camera capable of recording 4K video. Uh, Phone Arena suggests that the clock speed of the processor, 2.5 gigahertz, might actually point to a Snapdragon 801 instead of the 800 chip mentioned in Geekbench. Uh, that fits probably more in line with earlier rumors, though quite frankly, Motorola did a kick-ass job on the software side of the original Moto X, so I'm not going to be heartbroken if it's an older Snapdragon 800 chip at all, and you shouldn't either. Uh, Techno Buffalo will be there on September 4th, where the truth will be unveiled. Our own Roy Choi will cover it all for you. Uh, so I'm really excited. I love the Moto X. It was really a smartphone of the year last year for a lot of our staff. So hopefully the X Plus One is pretty awesome. Uh, hopefully it's still got Motorola's hands on and hasn't been Lenovo'd uh, up too much yet. Uh, but I think there's going to be a lot of cool things coming out of that phone. So if you're just a spec guy and you or girl and you want the latest, looks like the Note 4 is going to be ridiculous. So it's Samsung pretty much confirmed the Galaxy Note 4's existence, and now a retailer has let slip what appears to be the final specs. So if these are real, anyone waiting for this device will not be disappointed. The Note family has always been just a crazy juggernaut in Samsung stable, and it looks like the company is going to get some really big firepower, especially with the imminent arrival of the iPhone 6. So according to Indonesian retailer Airphone, the Note 4 is going to boast the kind of specs you'd expect from just big ass super phones. Things like a 5.7 inch 2560 by 1440 display, which is a ridiculous 515 PPI, four gigs of RAM. That's probably two more than it needs. And also, it's my Star Trek, live long and prosper. Uh, 2.5 gigahertz Snapdragon 805 processor, or octa-core Exynos with four Cortex A57 cores and four Cortex A53 cores, depending on the region. Damn. 60 megapixel camera, the ability to record 4K video, which is ridiculously beefy, even by Samsung, Samsung's already pretty beefy standards. In addition, we're expecting different size variants, 16, 32, or 64, uh, expandable storage up to 128 gigs, micro USB 3.0, Bluetooth 4.0, Android 4.4.3, KitKat, dual bound Wi-Fi, 802.11ac. Is your mouth just drooling with expectations for this? I am. We've already seen pictures of what the rumored device is supposed to look like, and it looks pretty awesome, like an evolution of the Note design. I can't wait for it though. The specs though are usually only half the story. No mention of extra features, so it's unclear how much different the Note 4 is going to be from the Note 3, other than the specs. We've heard about some possible features such as a tie-in with Samsung's upcoming VR tech, along with the new series of sensors, so they take advantage of new note-taking stuff. Though we're sure though there's crazy more software features Samsung loves to throw everything in the kitchen sink at you. Uh, we, should so, we should know much more though at the event on September 3rd. September is going to be a very, very busy month. Stop the rumors for one quick sec to tell you if you want to start a website, now is the perfect time. Start building it with GoDaddy. You can get a domain for just $1.99. Just use promo code 199TECHNO at checkout. If you want to start your site for rare mountain goats, now is the time to do it. Some limitations might apply, so check out the website for details. So back in June, rumors of an Asus smartwatch began to bubble up to the server, suggesting they are working on an Android Wear device of their own that could be crazy cheaper than alternatives from LG, Samsung, and probably Motorola, because 360 ain't going to be cheap. Now the company CEO has apparently confirmed the news adding the device could debut earlier next month at IFA in Berlin with a nicer design than competition. 
Uh, so Focus Taiwan report that ASUS CEO Jerry Shen broke the news during an investors conference uh, on Tuesday. He didn't offer any details on the device itself, but claims Google has already approved the new smartwatch. I didn't know they had to do anyway. I figured they just, you could just put it out. If the ASUS watch does debut at IFA, it's likely to come with super strong marketing push as well. Early reports suggest the device could cost as little as 99 to 149 bucks, which might be a really key selling point for a smartwatch, which is a good price point for a smartwatch. Even so though, Shen says he's trying to be realistic about the wearables market and doesn't expect to see sales pick up until the second half of next year. On that note though, he does say the company is already preparing its second generation smartwatch, so why buy the first? The next one's already coming. We're curious to see what Asus has in store though, and hopefully a cheaper Android Wear device is gonna bring more people to the yard, like a milkshake in it. Anyway guys, what do you think? Is a cheaper price important to you? Is specs and design more important to you? I wanna hear your thoughts. Anyway guys, bad jokes aside, thank you for watching this episode of Rumor Roundup. Hope you enjoy. Please leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think about all the stories. I want to hear your thoughts on it. I'll read them. We can have a conversation. Until next time, I'm John Renger from Tacto Buffalo. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to check out the latest from World of Consumer Electronics from people who absolutely love it, hit the big subscribe button right down below.